Hello guys! How are y'all? Awesome. I do hope. Yeah, I do. I am here to show you guys a couple of days worth of um, Dollar Tree stuff. I went to a few days ago to pick up some band-aids because the skin around my thumbs gets so dry. Only my thumbs! And they pop. It's disgusting. The skin. I kid y'all not. Literally pops right around my thumb. This one's a little ragged. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen the horror, if y'all have been paying attention, of uh, the up-closeness of it all when I'm showing you guys stuff um, in the last few videos. I mean, it looks jagged and ragged and really, really gross. And I don't want to gross y'all out further, if y'all are even noticing. But it, it, it does really hurt. And um, I needed Band-Aids. The first day I went in there, what the heckin' is going on here? The first day I went in, y'all know I didn't just pick up band-aids. And then I went back the next day because I needed um little plastic uh, bully things. So I'm just going to get into it and let it start off. And I'm just going to grab randomly. Mind you, there's two days worth of things. They are still selling, the um at my Dollar Tree anyway. The Cynthia Rally Band-Aids. Oh, golly. The Cynthia Rally Band-Aids. So I picked some of those up just because they were cute and I needed them. Um, I picked up, not the chiles in there, but these little uh, Betty Crocker plastic dishes uh, for my chiles. I haven't been cooking with uh, the dried chiles in quite a while. So I hadn't had any, but I like to keep them in their little um, sealed containers to keep them fresh and from going weird and wonky and losing the smell and stuff uh so i needed one for my guajillos and one for my um chiles caponés so i got two of these and that these are really good betty crocker can't go wrong i got y'all in a different position forgive the light shining back there um <laughs> i picked up this royal norfolk norfolk Norfolk. I'm gonna say Norfolk because it doesn't sound as raunchy. But I picked up this knife. I'm sure you guys have seen them. This brand of like kitchenery stuff is really, really good. It lasts. It doesn't like break on you or or or, or get raggedy. Um, but I needed a knife just for chicken. I've explained to y'all my fear of contamination with chicken, and the knife that I had specifically for chicken kind of got mixed up in everything else so i just i got rid of it and i wanted one specifically for chicken so i grabbed that one little red handle sharp as heck i don't know that i've ever bought one of these brand knives before but like i said their other kitchen stuff is pretty good so i figured why not what else ah, some shoe polish the three color shoe polishes reason i got this is because i have a pair of uh really nice little uh polo tennis shoes for a little dude and you know how sometimes white tennis shoes like converse and stuff those of you old schoolers like me when we used to wash our converse or when they would you know get dirty they'd get that yellow tinge around them well i had tried a trick of uh baking soda whitening toothpaste around it and it worked for a while but now the yellow is starting to come back now i hope i don't ruin the tennis shoes but I'm desperate to get rid of that nasty yellowy stuff. So I thought, what if I just go over it? I mean, it's canvas, so it'll soak it up and sop it up. Maybe the white will do some good. I'm going to do a little spot check and see if it works on canvas. I don't, I've never shoe shined or shoe dyed or shoe polished a canvas shoe. But I'm desperate because the shoes are still in really good shape other than that funky little yellow ring. I was so excited when I came across this LA Colors. It's the duels. You guys have seen a whole bunch of them. Now, this color blew my mind. It's called Charmed. I was so excited when I saw it because I'm not much of a deep red lipstick wearer. Uh, but when I come across one that I really, really like, I will buy it. I already have it. I'm doing that a lot lately. I'm glad this stuff is only a dollar, but... I already have it, but it's a really, really gorgeous red. And I like these because they're really pigmented, really, really pretty. They're creamy and moisturizing. They don't dry you up. And there's nice tint to them. 
Uh, they've been around forever. You guys have hauled them too. But yeah, if you're interested in a really gorgeous, nice red, this is called Charmed. I'll have to get it. Maybe I'll find um, someone to make a little um, Valentine's Day um, package for. I don't know. Would it be weird to give it to my son's teacher? What do you think? It might be weird, huh? Maybe she thinks I'm calling her unattractive or something. Or maybe she'll think I'm calling her attractive. Either way, I don't want to offend, confuse, or freak anybody out. So, I don't know. I may just keep it. You know what? I love my red one so much. I'm pretty close to where it's getting flat on the top where you can't get the defined outline. So, I may as well. Uh, I'll keep it. I finally picked up one of these e.l.f. shimmering facial whips. I love when I do a full face of makeup, a little highlight over my cheek. Not too much because then I look like a 1970s disco queen. But the only ones that I have been finding in e.l.f. are that really weird white one or that bright pink one. This one is more of a neutral. I think it's called Lilac Petal. And it's this really pretty kind of natural toned pink. So I thought that would be good to try. I had never seen this shade before, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I picked up another one of the Murine Plus because I thought we could share in this household, but apparently not. Uh, the one I got ended up tagging along with my oldest to school, so I picked up one for myself. I picked up some of these paper mates. Uh, I have seen a whole lot of people buying these using coupons. I don't coupon. I probably should. But it involves math. I ain't having it. But paper mates are always good to have. I can never find a pin in my purse when I need one. And I probably won't find these either because I'll forget I have them. Hmm. I finally found one of these that I liked. This is the um, Revlon Nail Art in Moon Candy. It is this really deep burgundy. Y'all remember when burgundy used to be called maroon? Old schoolers, hello. It's this really pretty, it looks brown, but it's not. If you guys have gone to any Dollar Tree, you guys know exactly which one this is. It's in Moon Candy. Um, it's this deep burgundy with this little gold flecky overlay. I think that is so pretty. I thought that was going to look nice, so we'll try it. I need to paint my nails, so we'll give that a try. I grabbed one of these um, Black Elf blushes for some reason i don't have the tapered brush in all of my brushes i do not have the tapered brush and i'm not big on contouring because i can't do it well i end up looking very very strange uh but i'm practicing trying to get better with contouring and i thought this might be more forgiving for me with the heavy hand because it is narrow maybe i won't end up with such a huge wonky mistake on my face uh, but to play with an experiment, I just went ahead and grabbed it. Plus, these are like, what, $3 at Walmart and Target. Grabbed that one. And I think, oh, hold on. A few other things. I thought that was it. I grabbed another one of these little dust plugs in this lilac little ball. I got the uh, little lilac. Um, remember when lilac was called lavender? Anyway. I got the little lilac bow last time. The, the bow is actually a little darker than this one, but this is so cute. It looks like a little gumdrop. I grabbed that to match my cellular phone. And then I was totally geeked out because I finally found the um, shower gel or shower cream in this Essence of Beauty rose scent. I bought this stuff not too long ago. Oh my gosh, I love it. I still have maybe about this much of the lotion left so i should have probably picked up a lotion but i wasn't thinking about the lotion when i finally came across the shower cream they never have the shower soapy gel cream stuff at my dollar tree only the lotion so i thought it was a lotion like oh well whatever i already have one and i'm so glad i looked because i finally found the shower in the rose scent and the shower in the pink grapefruit and apple blossom in the april bath brand this lotion is one of those lotions where you're tempted to taste it because it smells so awesome. This is one of the best scents of lotion and it leaves my hands so soft and leaves them soft for really, really long and it smells fantastic. And the scent lasts for a really, really long time. And I had also run out of the shower gel. This is the gel. And I finally found the gels and all the shower products stocked 
with their lotion. So I wanted those two and I finally found them. And I probably should have grabbed more because these are going to finish ASAP. But I wasn't thinking. Um, and probably when I go back tomorrow, I have to go back tomorrow. They may, there may not be any more. And then the last two things I picked up were my Tried and True Vio 5 shampoo and conditioner. But um, yeah, I have to go back to Dollar Tree tomorrow because, mind you, I've been twice this week. And I was a little surprised that I hadn't been given any notice or, or been sent home a letter regarding a Valentine's Day party at Little Dude's school. And we get one today, which is fine because there's plenty of time to get stuff. Uh, he needs to bring in 22 little um, Valentine's cards and a bag of chips. Each child is given something to bring. But... Y'all know I'm going to go out like that. I want to make 22 little goodie bags and then put something together for his teacher. But he has his main teacher and then he has a speech therapist and a music teacher. And you guys, I haven't had a child in kindergarten in 13 years. So you mommies out there, if any of you guys are watching that have little kids, how do you handle a situation like that without hurting other teachers' feelings? I don't want his other teachers feeling left out because they are so freaking awesome. I love all his teachers. He has such an awesome support group, such an awesome set of teachers. But I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings by not giving them all something. So how do you moms or dads, anybody watching this with kids who do this type of thing, how do you handle it? Do you give a gift to the main teacher? Do you give a gift to all of the teachers? Or do you just opt out and just concentrate on the little kids? If somebody could give me a heads up, because all y'all know, there is some adorable stuff at the Dollar Tree for both children and adults, um, that I could put together some really nice little um, whatnots with. But yeah, if you guys could inform me, like I said, it's been quite a while since I've had anything to do with um, little class parties, this type anyway. Uh, I could use the outside advice, but I do believe that's it. My little tote along is empty. Um, this saves me at least 15 cents in Dallas County. Anywho, uh, but that's it. I am going to put this stuff away and uh, go make my Dollar Tree for tomorrow list. Talk to you guys very soon. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. I hope you had an awesome week. And thanks for watching. All my new subbies, hold on, by the way, my old subbies, mwah, hello again. All my new subbies, hi, thanks, you guys, for joining my crazy train and welcome aboard. Uh, love having y'all. Thanks for watching. Okay, now I'm leaving. Bye.